Certify is a suite of effects for Unreal Engine that help you recreate the look of old CRT televisions and computer monitors. It's designed with authenticity in mind, meaning it simulates both the good and the bad qualities of this era of display hardware. However, it's also highly modular, so you can pick and choose which artifacts you include or exclude from your project's art direction. Let's take a look at some of its features. Firstly, it includes a set of adjustment knobs, much like you'd find on your screen's physical settings panel. You can tweak common parameters, such as the image's position, as well as more esoteric features, such as trapezoid and pincushion distortion. It's worth noting that none of the effects being demoed here are specific to this television mesh. They should work on any surface you project your video feed onto, assuming that the UV coordinates are between 00, 0 and 11. Now for the fun stuff, artifacts. Flicker and snow are fairly self-explanatory. The overshoot effect simulates what you might know as halos, fringing, or ghosting. This is caused by slight imprecisions in the way shapes are drawn on the screen, and can help add character to your scene's silhouettes. You can control it on a per-channel basis, with the fourth channel representing overall luminance. Phosphor persistence simulates the way that colors on the screen surface don't change instantaneously. This is a very distinctive artifact that you can use to either realistic or heavily stylized effect. Desync simulates those black lines that you would get running down screens when filming a CRT screen with a video camera. Next, let's look at changing some of the screen's fundamental properties. You can use any texture you like as video input. If you're making a game that you want to be played entirely through Certify, just use a Scene Capture 2D as your game camera, and then use that camera's output texture as Certify's video input. The Shadow Mask and Scanline textures are generated by a highly tweakable substance archive. You don't need to own Substance Designer to use this, by the way, though the original Substance file is also included in case you do. Presets of some well-known subpixel patterns are included so you can get started right away. The black level controls the color of the darkest lit regions, whereas the screen color affects the screen's base color. This example is using a clear coat shading model, by the way. You can even choose a texture to get burned into the screen as if it was displaying something for too long. The distortion feature is more powerful than it seems at first. It allows you to choose a two-channel distortion map for each color channel and apply them in varying amounts. A spherical height map is being used here as an example. You can use this to simulate magnetic interference, convergence errors, or to create surreal glitchscapes, especially if you modify it during gameplay. Finally, we have the strobe effect, which is used to simulate what the screen might look like through a high-speed camera, or through the eyes of a player entering a slow-motion mode. As with all my products, expect more to come in future updates. I can't wait to see what you make with this.